In this video, I do want to show you how to create a master detail relationship in Salesforce. And I'll, I'll actually do you, show you hands-on so you can have a practical way on being able to create this relationship. We already know that in Salesforce, there are a couple types of relationship, but the main ones are master detail relationship and lookup. Today, we just will be focusing on master detail. Currently, I am on Salesforce, one of my Salesforce Trailhead org on the Schema Builder. In the Schema Builder, you can be found through here if you go to the Home section and click on the Schema Builder. And Schema Builder is essentially is a visual way to show and see objects available on your org. But at the same time, you can also create your own objects directly and faster from here. So if I go to the element section, I should be able to see all the fields and object creation available on my panel. Now I can drag object and name it as job. For plural, it will be jobs. Let's keep everything the same. Description, let's keep this on default. Let's save that. Way quicker, right? Okay, we created a job. So this will be our um, parent. We also will create another object. Let's drag that and name it is as applicant. Essentially, you will have job, one job or several job. And then for each job, there will be children and then basically people applying for that job, which we will call them applicants, right? Okay, currently, they don't have any relationship between each other. Okay. So, let's make a quick connection. Um, basically, we will want to do creation of the relationship and we know that relationship uh, field should be created on a child object and relate to the parent so we'll be creating um, this field uh, in this case master detail relationship on applicant okay so I'm gonna go to the back end and look for the child which is applicant let's look for applicant let's go to the field and relationship and from here we will be creating a new field and this is gonna be master detail click next in this section you want to show where you want to relate it to so we will define job Click next, field name job, help. So it's going to be displaying as applicants. Okay, next. Let's keep the security and layout same. Save it up. Okay, so we just created a relationship between job and app uh, and applicant so if I go here if I re refresh that I should see this line red line basically telling me there is a relationship from the parent to the child right so that's how you create a relationship between these two objects. Okay, that's kind of quick video. Hopefully it's helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, guys. Thank you.